Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carly Stevens. I am a teacher and author, and this is English Nerd. Because Amazon Prime's series Rings of Power comes out on September 2nd, I thought this was the perfect time to do a definitive ranking of Lord of the Rings covers. There's even a new set of covers that they are doing because of the series, and that will be included in this as well. Now, I looked for quite a while for all of the covers, both domestic and international, and so I uncovered some that I had never seen before, which is pretty rare, but I know that there must be some missing as well. So if you're thinking to yourself, but what about that one cover from the 70s? Uh, this, is, this is as definitive as it gets, my friend. I challenge you to find any site that is more thorough than this one with uh, the number of covers that I have come up with. So I'm going to rank these, as I said, in an order that uh, goes from worst to best, but I'm going to save the very, very worst for the end. We're going to start with the Are You OK category. So just so we all know, the categories are Abort Mission, The Horror, The Horror, which I'm saving to the very end. Are you okay? Something's off. Blandness. That's nice. Love it and beautiful perfection. So we'll be building up to beautiful perfection and then we're going to end with abort mission. So here we go. We'll start with are you okay? Okay, so these covers here are ones that actually came from a pirated version of Lord of the Rings. So um, are you okay in that sense? But also, there's some weird stuff. If you look closely at the Fellowship copy here, you'll see that there are some people in like Teletubby uniforms or something behind who I assume is Gandalf, although Gandalf never wears yellow. And then Return of the King, you have some giant person. I assume it's Sauron because we have the eye there in the tower. And I assume that that's Aragorn with the seagull on his head looking up at the huge looming figure. In any case, this definitely merits one of the lowest uh, categories of covers. Okay, next is one of my personal favorites in the, oh my gosh, this is hideous category. Still in the, are you okay? If you look at the details of this, almost nothing actually pertains to the Lord of the Rings we have these kind of lizard monsters, we have weird bulbs, we have emus and more lizards. This person really enjoyed lizards. There is a spider on the two towers, so maybe they heard about what the book was about, but the psychedelic colors, none of it really matches the actual tone of Lord of the Rings or the things that happen. So are you okay? I'm gonna guess the answer was not, unless you count okay being on a lot of psychedelic drugs. Okay, now this one is in the are you okay category as well. It took me a second even to figure out what I was looking at when I found this one. And I think it's Frodo passed out with uh, wearing the ring, but I am really not sure. This looks wrong in so many different ways. And I'm thinking to myself, anybody who hears the, the premise of Lord of the Rings, why would this be your first go-to? This kind of semi-sexy, Geralt of Rivia looking Frodo person. What? What? Okay, moving on. Okay, so I found that the Germans, no offense to my German watchers out there, but the German covers have been a particular area of complete and utter nonsense and creepiness. For example, we have this. This is a copy of all three parts of Lord of the Rings all together. We have the freaky green eye there. This one is a little bit more subdued than some other German covers that I will show you later. But um, but the eye of Sauron looks like the eye of an office worker in a peephole, so not a big fan of that. Here's a variation of the office worker peephole eye. This one is bright, bright green. And uh, so if you like these German versions, that's, that's fine, but it's still gonna go in my are you okay category. Here we go, some more German-ness. This is, I'm not entirely sure, the only connection I could think of between this 
very colorful bird with a serpent coming out of its mouth image. Um, the only, only connection I could think was worm tongue, you know, from Two Towers. That is the name of a character. I don't think that there was a particular association between the people of Rohan and, you know, psychedelic birds. But it's a choice. It's an are you okay kind of choice. All right, so this one is Danish. I, I don't know. This is this is from this is just uh, Return of the King, I believe. And and most of what I'm going to show you are either complete sets of covers or a all-in-one sort of cover. But every once in a while, I found something that was just sort of by itself for reasons completely unknown. And this is an example of that. These look like goblin troll people dancing as you know what return of the king is is all about so mm -hmm, yep okay this was this was a new find i enjoyed finding the finnish version of lord of the rings finnish was one of the inspirations for um, one of the original elven languages so that's sort of neat this is bananas this this Witch King, I guess it must be because there's a there's a crown there, but there's it's also Lord of the Rings, which is Sauron. In any case, these things reminded me of the the Red Guards in in Star Wars. You know, you see them really clearly in Return of the Jedi and the Last Jedi. We we have those Red Guards. That is what I'm seeing here. There's some popcorn maybe behind the ring. Are you okay? I don't know. Okay, so that was the are you okay category. Next, we're on to the something is off category. Um, so this one I actually, I actually kind of liked, but I just didn't know where to put it. There are some things that are off with this version, um, like Gandalf being all in red. I, I like the Witch King illustration. It's pretty cool, but it's, it's, uh, I don't know. There's a there's a lot going on. I was I had mixed feelings about this one. I wasn't quite sure which category to put it in, and it was obviously not bland. Um, but it's not exactly beautiful. So they went into this something something's not quite right category. Okay, this one makes it makes Lord of the Rings look like a software manual. So that is very off. I mean. Look at that. What what are we what are we looking at there? It's it's like the Apple headquarters in a VHS. I just am very very confused. Once again, we have the German version. I don't know. German watchers, if you can tell me what is going on with book covers over there, I'd be very interested to know. All right. So we have a, we have a a French version here that oh, let's just unpack this for a moment. Let's look. At this version, we have um, a guard type of individual. It looks like a ghost. So, I mean, it could. Be, there are ghosts that exist in Return of the King, but we we have a ghost sort of figure. We have, I guess, Gimli with the axe there in the front. Not sure who's behind him. If that's Frodo, then he's way too tall. I just don't know what's going on here. If somebody can shed some light on where I am or what I'm supposed to be looking at here, I'd be very appreciative. So please do pass that along. I just, I, I, this looks more like a Shakespeare play, minus Gimli, than anything that I've read in Tolkien. Okay, next in the somethings off, we have these. I don't hate these. But they're kind of weird. I mean, I mean, take a close look at these. We have, I guess it's supposed to be Hobbiton with Fellowship of the Ring there. We have an eagle for two towers and not a ton of eagle action that happens um, in two towers. I mean, I know there are a couple, couple eagle instances in the course of Lord of the Rings. You have a significant one in Return of the King. You have Gandalf telling the story of... Um, you know, his his escape and whatnot. But I just don't really know why there's an eagle. And then Return of the King is just a lovely lake 
nothing wrong with that, I suppose, but it's it's not very indicative of what happens or or uh, a major set. Okay, and now in the uh, something's off, the last one in the something's off category, we have this series, this this English speaking series. Um, let's let's get closer here. So these are some illustrations of scenes that are actual scenes. So props to them from the book, but I just, I am not a huge fan of, of fantasy novel covers that depict a scene from the book in kind of a, I just, I prefer it to be something that indicates what the book is about without having a scene like cartooned out for me. And that's basically what's happening here. We have Gandalf in the first book um, talking to some people. We have we have Gimli there, we have two ho hobbits there on the right, one hobbit on the left. Um, that appears to be the walls of Moria. Gandalf is is figuring out how to uh, how to make that go. Two towers, it's Frodo and Sam at the crossroads. There's the big statue and the sun is going down and the big eye is up there. Um, and then Return of the King, you have Gandalf the White and then Aragorn, he's finding the tree. So I guess, you know, maybe maybe I should have put that in the a different category. Maybe it's sort of, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. Well, it's certainly not the worst. We're going to save those for later. Okay, so we're on to blandness. I'm going to run through these really quickly. We have uh, some a 50th anniversary edition, some editions that actually are pretty nice in real life, but we're just looking at the the covers and that's it. These are, I mean, there's either grayness or just a ring. This one is uh, an Italian version. There are three pillars, windows, shapes. Uh, it's just, it's, uh, it's odd. It's odd. There's a desert beyond. It's both boring and confusing. So sorry, that was that was a bit of a fail. We have a Hebrew edition, which could be cool in real life if it's it, since it's all the books together and maybe if the back looked cool. But there's not not a ton going on there. We have a Portuguese version here with the ring and then the three elven rings, I guess, are are here to here to play for some reason. Yeah, we have Turkish ring, just green with ring. Okay, so blandness, we're done. We're done with that. Okay, here are the, okay, that's nice. We're starting to get into the nicer covers. These are super classic. Um, they're always available on things like Abe books for quite a bit because they, they are a much sought after set of copies. I don't love that they all have the same picture on the front, but it is a, it is a pretty cool cover. Okay. So I like, I like this one as far as an image to illustrate all of Lord of the Rings. I think having one of the, the fell beasts flying by is, is that's, that's nice. Hence the category. We have a nice Alan Lee, part of an Alan Lee painting with the, with Minas Tirith in the background. There's not a ton that is all that exciting about this cover, but it's very pretty. Okay, we have these, Fellowship of the Ring, Two Towers, Return of the King, and it's all these kind of vertical designs. Um, Helm's Deep, as a background, it is one of the best movie scenes for sure. I wouldn't say it's one of the best book scenes, but I that's that's very nice. I like that as a cover. Okay, this one, this one uh, is a Spanish version, El Señor de los Anillos, and it is kind of cool. Like, it's somewhere between cool and 70s hotel, and I'm not, not quite sure. So it ended up in the, that's nice. How interesting. We have a tower there category. Okay, you're gonna find that I have a lot of movie tie-in books 
here in the That's Nice and Greater. I know some people do not like movie tie-in book covers. I have no problem with them as long as the the movie is actually good <laughs> or related to the book because sometimes it's just sort of inspired by and doesn't really follow what what the book is for for better or worse but i tend to really love the movie tie-in covers because i love both the movie and the book so here we have gandalf it's not my it's not my favorite movie tie-in cover so that's why it's in the that's nice category but what a nice throwback right okay we have this one is just the eye it's not not very exciting but it's i guess a good choice lord of the rings that is that there he is there he is Here's another Spanish one, and instead of just having the ring, at least we have the ring kind of on fire. It's it's doing something a little bit snazzier, so it gets in that slightly higher category. It's no longer bland, it's one step above bland. Lord of the Rings, it's a pretty cool illustration on this one. I I like it, I don't love it. But the illustration is pretty cool. I mean, I, I would definitely look at some other art by this illustrator. Okay, so this one is also in the That's Nice because pretty much all the covers are the same. It's just the silhouettes of the Fellowship going. And the Fellowship is not actually together for all of those, all of those uh, stories. And I like a little variety in my covers as well. Obviously, I like the Fellowship silhouette, but they're all the same. They didn't need to be the same. I don't know. I mean, the spines are different, so that's that's cool. You can you get another angle of the the walking silhouettes that way. Okay, these these are based, I believe, on Tolkien's illustrations that he did himself. He did tons of illustrating. You can just look up. He has an, there's an entire book out, at least one that has. His illustrations in it. So even though they're not exactly how I would have illustrated these things, I think that's pretty cool, right? So that's nice. More illustrated editions with just locations. They're kind of washed out even in person. And I I think that like look at Return of the King for a second. It's just a it's a wall part of a tower. There's nothing wrong with it exactly, but it just isn't all that inspiring. It it makes it look more boring than it is. You know, the two towers is some trees. Yes, yes, lots of trees definitely feature, but but um, it's such a good book. I feel like it ought to be more beautiful than that. Okay, another set that is just a variation of something we've seen before. Okay, you get the idea. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. This one here with the three different colors and then the illustration around. I do like the the illustration that kind of surrounds the title. That's pretty cool. But again, there's this mutedness to it where it's very understated and not that much changes from cover to cover. So that's why it just gets into that's nice category. This one, there was a slightly better picture out there, but this is what you get. It is the Nazgul on horses kind of cool but even in the even in the better pictures the the image was not very clear so just that's nice and then we have a Norwegian version that looks like something that was definitely like self-published ish looking I like what they attempted to do so that's why I put it in the that's nice category but I also don't love it Okay, we have some Polish, Polish Lord of the Rings. I like the design behind, so that's nice. This is Swedish. It's something a, a, a little bit out of the box. We have a ring, but it looks almost like a horror movie. I don't know. It uh, could go in the bland category for sure, but it's going to go in the that's nice category, and you're going to appreciate it anyway. Okay, so that's it for that's nice. Okay, we're on to the Lovitz. <laughs> Not John, but the the category, love it. So here we have some movie tie-in covers. 
I like the movie tie-in covers like I just said and these are so nostalgic for me that they are going to go in the love it category and you cannot change my mind. This one I would almost put into beautiful perfection but that would be so subjective even more than I'm doing now in this definitive guide because this is the cover for the book that I first when I first read Lord of the Rings and so it's I can just like smell the book when I see this this picture and it's it's very heartwarming to me so I love this one it, it's beautiful as I like it's not exactly a part I mean it is a particular scene but it's more indicative of what the tone is of the whole I like that okay this one I found in isolation it's another return of the king but the illustration was so compelling that I thought oh that's a really cool version of of Lord of the Rings so a uh, Spanish version it's it's just such a great illustration it doesn't look like Alan Lee who's the most famous Tolkien illustrator but it's it should ring a bell it's not ringing a bell so if you know who this illustrator is please put that down below that'd be helpful all right I really like this one it's simple on the one hand but a couple of things if you notice there's the map in the back it's very faint but I love that you get Middle Earth on the back and then at first it seems like just a ring but then as you start to look at the details you actually see that it represents the journey of the the different parts of the book. So you have Barad-dûr on one side, you have uh, Hobbiton on top, uh, etc. So it's it's just such a, 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 it's well thought out, I think. Okay, this one, this copy would be in the beautiful perfection in person because the spine and everything are just breathtaking. But as far as like just the cover goes, this one goes in love it so this is alan lee and this is frodo sam and Gollum in front of the black gate the movie bit just recreated this exact shot but it's beautifully done i like how the how the title is kind of covered by that tower absolutely lovely okay i tried to find a picture of this that was both clear and did not have an ad on it but here we are the Rings of Power, it comes on Prime on September 2nd. Now, I have very recently <laughs> heard from somebody that hates these covers because of those, those sticker-looking things in the corner. I'm not a big fan of the sticker-looking things. However, I really think they nailed the tone of the, the different books. I like that it's just the hand with the, with the weapon or the staff or whatever it is. And I'm a big fan of these these new covers. I think they are beautiful. Jury's still out about whether I'll enjoy Rings of Power or not because the trailer just reminded me a little bit uncomfortably of The Hobbit and all of its CG excitement. But we'll see. Okay, I like this one. We have the Nazgul going across the river. I like all these Nazgul covers, apparently. Big fan. Okay, these are classic. If you have been a fan of Lord of the Rings and haven't seen these, I, I just don't believe you. These are the most famous box set versions, I think, of Lord of the Rings covers. We have, uh, I believe it's Rivendell, Orthanc, and Minas Tirith represented here, which are locations, but they're just more visually interesting than something like trees or a wall like we saw before. This one, this one it was, it, I was debating whether to put this one in the love it or it's fine category. I, I like the choice of the ring on Sauron's finger. It's just, it has a little bit of extra oomph. This is Swedish and it's just the poster from Fellowship of the Ring. Sue me, I love it. And then finally, more movie tie-in. That's right, that's right everyone. And remember, this is definitive. So if you disagree, then you're obviously wrong. Okay, we are on to Beautiful Perfection, after which, don't forget, we're going to look at Abort Mission, the horror, the horror, which you cannot miss. So Beautiful Perfection is a small category because, you know, it's hard to get that level of goodness. So we have a special edition here. It is um, stunning. So we have, it's red and black and it has kind of this opening so you can see it, the, 
the image inside. I mean, yeah, that's, that's real, real nice. This one, okay, so this one you might be thinking, but, but what? Okay, I have this special edition, it's the red one right there, and I just kind of cheated and counted the entire thing, including the spine and the back. It's, it's like a faux leather with the stamped gold, and it has a tree uh, of gondor on the spine. It's just breathtaking. It's the, the words are red and black on the inside, just like Sam talks about on the stairs of Kirithungal when we're when people are reading out of this big book with red and black letters. So I had to put it in the in the beautiful category. It's just incredible. And it even comes with like a, a box to stick it in, a slipcase box and a map of Middle Earth as well. I mean, I just, it looks, it doesn't look like a, a lot, I guess. I kind of broke my own rules, but you know, it's my definitive list. So there. These, I love these. You can find these at any Barnes and Noble and they just are all over the place, but they are so beautiful. They include The Hobbit because everybody wants to include The Hobbit. It is a prequel, but Lord of the Rings is just one thing. I have all these videos on Lord of the Rings if you want to check those out. But other than that, it's just, I love the presentation. I love the kind of half box. I love the way that these feel. It's another faux leather kind of a little bit plasticky but they're they're nice and compact and you can take them around I just I love it they're stamped love 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 okay these I found I had not seen these until I started doing research for this video I mean look at look at the slip case it's very cool we have a, a map type thing that's included so I know I know but that's a nice perk right and then if you look closely at the Return of the King that's showing there, you get not only a beautiful burgundy and blue cover, silver, but also you get this illustration kind of placed on the, the front as well. And I just think that that's be beautiful, just beautiful perfection. And then finally these. These, we get some more, some more good old Alan Lee. But look at those spines. Look at the Return of the King's spine. It has the the banner, the Rohan ba banner. Is they're going two towers? You have the you have Shelob and Frodo running. I mean, these are stunning, stunning, stunning. Okay, beautiful perfection. That is that is the whole category for that. Okay, are you ready? You're not. I can tell you already. You are not ready for abort mission the horror the horror <laughs> because they're so so horrible okay so you've seen the peak beauty of lord of the rings covers and now we're going to go so far in the opposite direction that you might get whiplash i am not going to cover those doctor's bills here we go okay first one i'm going to put up here because i cannot read um Cyrillic, or I believe it's Cyrillic, and so the the descriptor was that it was a Lord of the Rings cover. That was the category that it was in. I don't know what to do with this. It looks it looks like a sideshow slash horror situation where there's one robed small figure in front of I don't know a rock tent i i just i i'm disturbed and confused by this cover oh but there's more <laughs> oh my gosh okay german readers what is happening i i had to like take a breath when i saw this set it it i don't know where to begin I don't, I don't know where to begin. Let's, let's begin with something innocuous. How about the lime greenness of everything? Why is everything this horrible, offensive shade of green? Um, more than that, though, let's take, let's take book one. I, like, even as I look at this, book one, two, and three are not even in the right sections. Look, book one is the top right-hand corner. Book two is the top left. Hey, okay, top right hand corner, there's an eye and a snake going around the eye. 
or something. I just, it's on a pedestal. Is it the eye of Sauron? I hope not, because that's just so messed up. Okay, we have a bird in book two, also being surrounded by a snake type of thing. Maybe it's reminiscent of the bird in the other German version that had the snake coming out of its mouth, but with the psychedelic colors. And then book three at the bottom right, you have the eye, but the eye's been broken now. Like it, like the glasses have broken, and then it's two. It's like it's like a pigeon, a pigeon, and it doesn't look much like a hawk, but it's bigger than a pigeon. Could be a bit. It's like almost a blackbird, but it's not a blackbird. I, I, just don't know. I just don't know. Okay, okay. It does not get better from here, folks. All right, Dutch. Dutch and German versions win the just WTF award. There's this, there's this, there's this. Let's talk about it. We have a sort of naked demon baby that I think is supposed to be Gollum, surrounded by, by marbles, bubbles. I don't know, it's kind of a mixed media situation. Is the child holding flowers? It looks like they might be holding flowers. They might have mascara on as well. I think it's Gollum because the hobbits were close. There's a lava maybe on the ground with mountains in the back. And that is a cover someone made. Moving on my personal favorites. <laughs> I'm such a big fan of these. I literally own copies of them. They're in the, they're, where are they? They're in the stack right there. I love these. I've shown these before on the channel, but it's been a hot second, so it is about time to see them again. Fellowship, we have Gandalf and then Frodo, the middle-aged mental patient behind him. Two towers, we have the 70s porn film versions of Legolas and Gimli. I, I, it must be. And then Return of the King, we have Aragorn with wings on his head. I know, I know the helmet does have wings, canonically. But those are some wings, man. Those are some, those are some wings. We have crowds of people that you can't really see over his, uh, his right shoulder there. We have Gandalf on his left shoulder. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and then one more, one left. And it's this one, it's another another Russian version. The Russian version that I saw also were, you know, on the insane side. I don't know who this is supposed to be. Is it, is it Gandalf? There's a beard, white beard, so it's likely, I guess. He's just wearing strings and appears to be injured. I don't know what's happened to him. Gandalf, are you okay? The answer is no, like profoundly no. <laughs> so that is it, that is it folks. That was a definitive look at all the Lord of the Rings covers. I hope you enjoyed. So I will be tuning in to Rings of Power I'm, uh, I'm not sure what I'll think. We'll just have to see. So make sure to subscribe to this channel for more English nerdy goodness. Get those notifications and like this video if you like it. Until next time, bye.